enter the stars and you think that they don't recognize the number 88 Cine Globe is a film festival going on at CERN from March 24th to March 29th the 88th day of the year free entry ages 8 to 88 and here is a close-up shot 8 to 88 unbelievable do you think that 88 does not mean anything CERN will be hosting the next Cineglobe International Film Festival 24th through the 29th of March it celebrates the theme of convergence the festival is about the convergence of art, cinema, and science. This year, Sin Globe witnesses how science is changing the way we tell stories in art and cinema. Selected from more than 900 submissions spanning five continents, 58 short films inspired by science will compete. A jury composed of scientists, artists, filmmakers will award prizes for the best films screened during the festival. The festival, which is free and open to all, will also invite the audience to meet the filmmakers, participate in debates and workshops. That is Antarctica. Let's take a look at this trailer. And you think that 88 doesn't mean anything. A special landmark for this year is the 360 degree projection of films in a geodesic dome. Animated by a local visual artist, the dome will be the venue for the evening. Events and interactions will feature the avant premiere of Phantom of the Universe. A half hour planetarium show created at CERN that examines the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy. Special evening events will be webcast, including the opening night, featuring an opera film shot in the Large Hadron Collider. Another ritual. The award ceremony and the closing ceremony, which will pay tribute to the people on the top of the LHC through the documentary The Circle. That closing ceremony will happen on the 80th day of the year. Let's take a look at this program. The closing program is on March 29th. It's called The Circle. The festival's closing ceremony will pay tribute to all the people living on top of the LHC through Bram Conjert's magnificent documentary, The Circle. Belgian filmmaker Bram Conjert visited the CERN sites and surrounding countryside to meet the people living above the Large Hadron Collider. The film leaves behind a specific aspect of the experiment and makes a journey above ground. Running the 27 kilometers of the ring searching for local people with an opinion about what's happening below. Unlike most documentaries about the LHC, this film takes place mainly above ground. Here in downtown Toronto at Hot Docs, with filmmaker Bram Conyers. How does it feel to have your film, The Circle, here at Hot Dogs? It feels great. Uh, it's my first movie, so uh, it's a real big opportunity to show it here in Toronto. What was the inspiration behind the making of the film? Uh, actually, I had a dream about it. I, I, it started with a dream. I, re uh, I dreamt I was in a black hole, and I wanted to know where, the, where, where that uh, dream came from. Um, and then I, I think I read something in the new in, in, the, in the newspaper about the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, it's a particle accelerator in Geneva where they can when, where they can create micro black black holes. So uh, for me, it was interesting to go and take a look there. What was it like shooting underground when you were filming the particle accelerator? Now remember, 
This is going to be viewed on the last day, March 29th, of this film festival. It was really exciting. Uh, we started filming in 2009, and then the particle accelerator was still open for public, so we could go down with a with a scientist to take a look. And it's really uh, really enormous to see this gigantic uh, uh, yeah, machine. Why do you think that people have always had this obsession about the origin of life and where we come from? Uh, I think it's part of mankind. Uh, if we do, would not have that uh, that uh, curiosity, we would still be monkeys. I think so. Uh, I think it's part of mankind. Now we finally understand what this image means on top. The m monkey to man, enlightenment from Ipet Goat. We also understand now that the stag on the wall, on the chalkboard, in the left side of the room, is in fact Sir Nunos, the stag god, the green man. It is CERN, and the golden circle around the girl is in fact CERN, and the dot outside the circle portrayed in symmetry which will be screened on the first day which was already screened on the 24th of March is in fact pointing to the stag on the wall Sir Nunos this is CERN and their whole objective was to use the Taurus field in CERN to awaken and enlighten artificial intelligence what were some of the challenges that you faced making the film? Maybe the most difficult part of, about making the film was uh, to actually follow the circle because you cannot uh, see where the where the large where the tunnel is above the ground. Sometimes there are uh, tiny landmarks, but sometimes there's nothing. So you have to imagine. Uh, you have, we had a, a big map. And then we had to take some pictures of the map, and then, and then we had to... Uh, to As above, so forward. below. It was difficult to, to be exact on top. Did you find that your instincts were generally right, that you were generally on top? I think maybe we were sometimes 100 meters off, but not, not so much, I think. And how do you hope that audiences will respond to the film? I hope that uh, they get interested in science in the same way I am interested in science and that they uh, reflect on, on their own about uh, how life began. And what types of films do you hope to make in the future? Uh, I'm not too sure. I want to make something maybe about my country, Belgium. Uh, but yeah, it's difficult to explain. It's a little bit political. But uh, I'm not going to explain it to you now because it's very, very, very difficult to explain the political situation in Belgium. So. And where is the best place to find out more information on the circle online? Uh, I don't. There's a hot. Yeah, it's on Hot Talks. So uh, on the website of Hot Talks, you can uh, read the summary. Uh, but there's no website of the film. Soon. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brad. This is the movie poster for The Circle. Do you think they're trying to bring back the serpent? And here is a screenshot from the documentary The Circle with the, the gun. We saw the evolution on Ipet Goat. This is the dome, and you see the spiral on the dome where they'll be conducting many of these activities. And the spiral of the dome seems to match the spiral from my pet goat too. Then we have a short film competition. Science tech, echo life, helping, love and family, art, and then of course special events. And they have the Soiree Oculus Rift. Oculus. We've heard Round Saturn's Eye talk about Oculus. Storytelling Science Hackathon. During the evening, Oculus Rift virtual reality headsets will be available to the public and participants of the hackathon will be present to interact with the audience. Soiree of Light, a performance and light show 
This is commemorating UNESCO's Year of Light. We talked about the significance of the Year of Light. Convergence. Bridging science and art. CERN moving us one step closer to artificial intelligence. I believe CERN is a giant computer. They did in fact invent the internet at CERN. Many people forget. And the computing power that would be necessary to maintain this type of worldwide internet is unfathomable. Not only that, I believe that they're increasing the computing power, increasing the size of these things, of the Hadron Collider, so that they can come up with the power necessary to store an actual artificial intelligence, the human mind. And once they are able to, to achieve this, they will actually be able to present to us an alternative reality. And of course, this will be an abomination to the Most High. But I believe this is what they're seeking to achieve. Look at some of these, uh, look at some of this stuff. Okay, we talked about the milk of human sacrifice. Well, in this workshop, you can actually make your own camera with a milk carton. They also have stop motion animation. And they will be presenting this on the 360 degree projection. So this is basically like looking at all around you at a screen, a big screen. So they went from movies, which was state of the art. Then they went to IMAX theater with the giant screen. And now they have a screen that encompasses the entire room all around you. 360 degrees of an image. And of course, the much talked about symmetry is part of this Cineglobe presentation. That opens on March 24th, the first day. In March 2015, CERN is preparing to launch the second experimental phase of the LHC. At its opening night, Cineglobe chooses to celebrate this amazing event with the film opera Symmetry. So this is all part of the March 29th celebration. You guys, I don't tell you these things because I'm special. I tell you these things because it was imprinted on my life. I've been telling you guys now for a year that March 29th is a very special date. It is the date Jesus Christ was crucified. And they are dancing in the ring in defiance of the Most High on the date of his crucifixion and they are celebrating it and until we wake up until we help other people see the deception many souls will be lost so I did a Google search on Synglobe the people who are presenting symmetry and this film festival at CERN that ends on the 29th the 88th day of the year and what I found was chilling this is Synglobe celebrating eight. Everything we've been talking about. Film, television, video. And it says here, Synglobe, nickname, the Sega Saturn logo. And this appears to be the logo of Synglobe. Now, I don't know if this is the same company, but how many Synglobes can there be? Nickname, Fragments in Space. This is about as cryptic as it gets. Take care and be safe, you guys.